I'm here at the ITU's Plenipotentiary Conference in Busan in the Republic of Korea and I'm delighted to be talking to the Deputy Minister of Telecommunications, Ms. Malgorzata Olsveska. Deputy Minister, you're very welcome. Thank you for the invitation. I'd like to start by asking you, what for the next four years are the priorities in the information, communications and technology landscape in Poland for you? Uh, in Poland, we have a lot of projects uh, dedicated to how to develop uh, infrastructure, uh, e-services, e-skills, uh, our uh, citizens, and we are focused on that um, because uh, more and more ICT uh, involve our daily lives. And for that, we should work really hard uh, first, build uh, the proper infrastructure in our country. Second, help people uh, how to use this technology for uh, daily uh, activities. And in Busan, the gender track has been particularly prominent this year. And I wanted to ask you if you believe that the gender divide issues are being appropriately reflected in the discussions here in Busan. Uh, yesterday we had a great meeting uh, which was organized by uh, ITU management and I am really grateful for that because this is the platform where, where we can chance to meet um, all delegates from uh, all countries in the world and we can also raise this issue how we should ensure equal chances for men and for women to perform some activities, some tasks, ideas uh, to develop ICT. And this is important uh, because uh, uh, we as Poland uh, trying to work uh, on that and we have this issue on the top of, of the agenda. Uh, even one month ago, uh, the, our president appointed women uh, as a prime minister. Uh, so we see that uh, ITU also uh, is important when we are thinking about uh, to more and more involve uh, women uh, into ITU activities which are connected with ne new technologies and probably there are some uh, opinions that this is uh, rather men's activity not uh, for women but as you see and uh, uh, we can meet here many ministers which are women and work for uh, telecommunication, for uh, new technologies, for ICT. Uh, I am one of them and I want to share my uh, experiences, my knowledge about that and I think that we can convince everybody that we are equal partners in this discussion like men. And you say you'd like to share your experiences about that. Yes. So as a woman in the technology field, what advice would you give to young girls aspiring to work in the area of ICTs? Uh, I think that now, nowadays uh, more and more uh, young women or young girls are involved about uh, new technologies and this is uh, their daily uh, communication or uh, they use them uh, for example to use uh, transport or going to the cinema uh, or even watching uh, or, give, or uh, searching information in the, in the internet. Uh, but I think that uh, we should promote uh, and we should encourage uh, young uh, girl, uh, girls uh, go uh, go to the uh, technical universities and trying to uh, work for ICT uh, as uh, as they can because uh, I think that uh, we we are well pre prepared for that and we have skills for that uh, and we uh, can work for the. Uh, sector of economy, uh, which is getting more and more important in the uh, economy, I think, of, of every country. We have such a, prob such a project in Poland, uh, girls, girls as engineers, and uh, this is the, the, the program which is dedicated uh, to, to promote uh, technical studies uh, and invite uh, young girl to, to study at technical universities. And the second, uh, girls in ICT, uh, there, are, there is a special prob program for uh, young, uh, young girl who, who study uh, at technical university when they can go and to have uh, some kind of trainings uh, in uh, uh, 
companies which are involved in ICT uh, business and they can realize their uh, knowledge and uh, their preparation uh, to work for uh, such companies uh, like, for example, Cisco, uh, SAS Institute or Microsoft. Deputy Minister Altuska, thank you very much for talking thank to us here today. Thank you very much. Thank you.